Hey guys, welcome back to Gruber Motor Company. Aaron McKenzie here. I'm really excited because today we're gonna to take that rear subframe that we re-engineered in the last episode and we're going to install it in this silver Tesla Model S. So let's get started. So as you guys can see, this is the rear subframe of the Tesla Model S. It's actually not that heavy because it's made of aluminum and that is for weight savings uh, to assist with the range of the vehicle. Okay guys, I'm here with Luca, our service supervisor here at Gruber Motor Company, and he's gonna give us a rundown of exactly what is entailed by replacing the rear subframe in this vehicle. So Luca, uh, what are we looking at here? How much time is this gonna take? Is it difficult? Usually with two people with the right knowledge, you could probably do it in about 45 minutes to an hour drop the subframe, pull the drive unit. So some of the things, being an employee of Tesla in service specifically, I definitely noticed a lot of technicians, they're always constantly improving, always constantly figuring out, okay, how can we make this process quicker while still producing the same result, if not better, obviously quality is the number one thing here. And just improving from that whole service procedure in general. This is one thing about the Tesla service team, these guys are awesome. They not only know how to get the job done right, but they know how to get it done within a reasonable amount of time. So Luca, can you walk us through what we're doing here as the, uh, in the initial, or the first part of removing the drive unit? So we'll definitely have to disconnect high voltage and obviously disconnect 12 volts to make sure that the high voltage battery is isolated from the rest of the vehicle so there's no dangers potentially. Um, and here we're gonna be disconnecting the 12 volts as well as the fireman's loop which will also disconnect the high voltage part of the vehicle. And that's the first part of many repair procedures, right? Yes, many repair procedures, but generally you most likely start with this as a baseline. So one really, one really cool thing I noticed Luca do is that he took the caliper and he put it delicately within the uh, wheel arch liner. You know, we don't want to let the brake caliper hang from the hose, that's not good. So what we're doing now is we're disconnecting the high voltage cables that are clipped underneath, or I guess really above the rear subframe here. They're going to run down into this spot here. Um, we've got the battery positive and negative connections here that we'll measure, make sure there's no high voltage. And this right here is our low voltage uh, logic connector that goes to the drive inverter. So what we're doing right now is we're testing the two high voltage inputs to the motor to make sure that there's no power going through them for safety purposes. I'm good at this blue collar stuff. What Luca's done is he's created this platform on the ground. So when we raise the car, the drive unit and the rear subframe will stay on the ground. We've made preparations already. So now what's going to happen is we're going to lift the car up and the drive unit and the rear subframe will remain on the ground. Get it! Do that! How is removing a drive unit from a Tesla different from removing a motor in an ICE vehicle? Process-wise, it's very similar, but there's a lot less connections. Only two coil hoses, a couple logic connectors, four main subframe bolts, two shock bolts, and maybe a ground strap and some two battery cables, I believe, and that's about it. So it's maybe like, I don't know, 10, 15 things versus wiring harnesses, connectors, maybe some belts, a couple other bushings. So, so for those of you out there, you know, we, we talk a lot about how electric vehicles are much simpler, in fact, than internal combustion engine vehicles. Great so, example right there on the floor. Even from a repair standpoint, even taking things apart, it's much simpler as well, because there's just a lot less things in the way that you have to remove, so here you go. All right, let's check out the damage, guys. Come down here and take a look at this. As you can see, these two brackets on either side are cracked in half. And the sound we were hearing was the drive unit coming up and down and uh, these brackets 
essentially heading, running into each other. Peter, can you tell me what some of these components are? Most people don't get a, a look underneath the Tesla like this with the drive unit out. Sure, so we've got our two coolant lines here on the sides. The large orange cables here that are going in underneath, this is the rear seat back here. So these are the high voltage cables that are going to go inside into your high voltage junction box, come out of the high voltage junction box and then go straight into the battery. So nice. this is almost one continuous cable, but not quite, there's a break in the middle. Um, but this is the back side of the battery right here. This is what they call the auxiliary tray. Um, you've got your low voltage connectors here. That's where all the communication to the high voltage battery occurs. And then you've got your main high voltage connection right here coming out of the pack. This right here is NVM. This is noise vibration harshness reducing material. So it's gonna reduce a lot of the noise that comes off of this, physical noises, not electrical noises. Um, and you can see in some places here, when his drive unit was kicking around and bucking, it was jumping up and hitting this. Wow. Um, luckily not doing too much damage underneath. Okay guys, as you can see, we've got our hands dirty at this point. All we have left to do is we're going to replace this broken rear subframe assembly with our new freshly reinforced rear subframe assembly over here that the guys have. And then all we have to do is put it back up into the car along with the drive unit and take it for a test drive. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy our content and leave us a comment or two. Thanks a lot.